Okay, we're here in the lab with the OCC. We have set a set point of minus 175 degrees Celsius. Very, very cold. We are, uh, we've been running for lots of hours, about three or four hours. Uh, but what we do want to show is the OCC running at minus 175 with a benchmark. We've overclocked the uh, AMD CPU. The 8350, we've overclocked that to uh, about a 4.9. So uh, that should be good enough to show that the OCC will keep up with the, uh, with the temperature swings. It's the valve, which is inside here, clicking on and off and allowing liquid nitrogen to come down the tube and to our CPU. The purge kit purges all of the oxygen out of the purge case, therefore we run with zero ice inside the purge case. We're going to open AMD Overdrive. That's the program that we're going to use to benchmark. It's the one we've had success benchmarking with before. We're going to open uh, CPU Z just to show what's going on with the CPU itself. And we're also going to open CPU ID hardware monitor so we can see all of the diagnostics as we do this benchmark test. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take AMD Overdrive and we're going to go ahead and run our benchmark. So we're going to run the same benchmark and we're going to run it from the perspective. We're going to run the same benchmark and we're going to run it from the perspective of the OCC. So here we go with our AMD overdrive. We're going to run this benchmark. And the temperature fluctuation while the benchmark is running is so far, as you can see, that two is lit up. It is dumping LN2 down to the chuck. It is at minus 175 on the surface of the chuck or close to the surface of the chuck. And as you can see with the benchmark running, there is no variation in temperature. So that's the whole point that we're trying to make, uh, folks, is that even with the larger chips, right now we're running an FX8350. Uh, we have it bent, uh, overclocked 1 gigahertz. Uh, we're using LN2 as cooling. This is the OCC running during the benchmark. It's running at minus 175 degrees Celsius, maintaining that temperature at minus 175 degrees Celsius. And there are no fluctuations in temperature. That's the main thing, and we just wanted to show the overclocking chiller, overclocking cryogenic chiller running on liquid nitrogen. This is our liquid nitrogen doer. Ooh, looks like Christmas. We've been running this sucker for about four hours now. Our overclocking chiller maintains whatever temperature you set it to. Uh, 